blessed I guess and peace be upon you this morning so in this video we're going to learn how to configure wireless LAN controller okay so uh, wireless LAN controller basically is used for uh, management of multiple access points let's say you have 1000 access points in your network you can't go to individual access point to configure or to manage so you should have a central place to managing these uh, access points so that's why we need to have wireless LAN controller so when I open our Google spreadsheet I'll let you know that we are in number two under WLAN and VoIP technologies so WLC wireless LAN controller so I partially drew this topology because there are things that I need to discuss with you I would like everybody to uh, leave, the, leave this place or uh, come to the end of this video when they have fully understood uh, how to configure wireless LAN controller. So the choice of devices. You don't just choose devices. There are specific devices that uh, will work. For example, I'm using a uh, packet is a uh, uh, version 8.21. Well, packet is normally have problems, a lot of problems. Okay. A lot of bugs. Let me say that. Okay. So uh, different versions uh, supports uh, different uh, devices or functionalities to some extent. Okay, so let's begin. How do we choose uh, devices? The first thing that we do, we want to choose wireless LAN controller because it's this devices that it's this device that we are going to configure. So when you go to devices and then uh, wireless devices, and I would like you to choose twenty five. 04 wireless LAN controller and we just put it somewhere here okay 2504 wireless LAN controller it depends on the version of packet that you are using in my case I'm using that one all right the second thing that you choose is a switch remember all of these access points will not be connecting to wireless LAN controller they'll be connecting to a switch so we just use Cisco 2960 switch. Okay. All right. So after choosing a switch, the second thing that you choose is now the access points. Okay. So we choose the access point that we need. To choose the access point, just come to wireless devices. Then choose the first one. LAP PT. Okay. Lightweight access point PT. Okay. Then we just put it there and we and we name this as uh, let me just put all of them then we name at uh, at once okay so let's do the naming so i'll just say this is it department it ap then i come here okay so i've done the naming for all the devices or for the access points all right so basically we need a server a server to provide ip addresses both to the wireless devices and the access points okay remember for these access to points to be managed from wireless LAN controller then they should be uh, accessed remotely using ip address okay so we need a server we need a server let me put it somewhere there and let's just call it DCP server. Yes. Yeah. And finally, we need to manage this device. So we need a computer. Yes, for management. So I can put that computer there. All right. So let's begin connecting. So for connecting these devices, we can just do some automatic and let the first connection go to the server and uh Okay, now between uh, between the switch and the wireless LAN controller, kindly just choose copper straight through. Come to the switch and choose the gigabit Ethernet 01, okay? Then go to wireless LAN controller and choose gigabit Ethernet 1, okay? All right. So uh, finally, let's just use copper straight through between wireless LAN controller and the computer. So we're done. We're done with the first step. The first step was uh, is about connection all right
all right so the second step is just to uh power on all of this as uh ips so you just click on ip and you drag the power supply and put it there okay until you see that uh forward icon okay all right all right so we're done uh configuring i mean inserting power supply to the access points so the second thing that you do we configure ip addressing uh, addresses to the server wireless LAN controller and the management computer okay all right so what i'm gonna do uh, let's start with the server so i'm just going to this uh, not server but uh wireless LAN controller i just click on the wireless LAN controller come to config we go to management we're concerned about management okay then we change it as per our network setting okay so let's 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 just pretend that our network setting is uh, 20 dot uh, ipv4 address let's say dot 10 okay that's now the management ip address of the wireless LAN controller well the separate mask will remain that one class c okay then default gateway let's assume that it will be that one then uh dns servers also will be that one okay all right so this is the management ip address of the wireless LAN controller make sure you change it as per your network okay all right so my network will be 192.168.20.0 slash 24 all right so the wireless LAN controller is taken 20.10 good so we go to pc and uh we go to desktop and we go to uh p configuration and uh let's let it take uh even dot uh dot seven no problem as long as it can communicate with the wireless LAN controller okay all right good so we're done wireless LAN controller pc now let's go to the server go to the server we come to uh desktop and ip configuration let the server have 20.5 good all right so the full gateway remain that one and dns server also remain that one good all right so let's create pools remember the purpose of this server is to create a, a pool that will be able to uh, provide ip addressing to the computer i mean the wireless devices here so just click on there come to services and come to dcp the first thing uh huh, just turn it on and let's say that default gateway is that one dot one and the next server is also that one dot one okay and uh, i want you to start giving a peer this from 101 one and two one since the 20 101 okay and then uh huh and then maximum number of users let's say we want only 120 then this is where our things get interesting okay wl address w lc address wireless LAN controller address we input the ip address of the wireless LAN controller you can see remember the management ip address of the wireless LAN controller was 182.168.20.10 so that's where we put it and we just save and it's already on good all right so the third step the third step is to turn on dcp option on the connecting interface of the access point so just go to in each of access access point come to config and give up with ethernet uh -huh. sorry go to settings and go to dcp just come to static and dcp good so you can see it has taken that one and if you can move over it you can see uh the peer this is one one so even this one you can even try it also you come this way and you go back good and good so uh let me check this one 102 uh 103 and finally 104 good so the second i uh, mean the fourth step is now start managing these access points okay because they have received ip address from the server and we now we can now uh, uh manage them remotely so just go to the pc and uh, the first thing you do you try to ping the wireless LAN controller before you can manage it so just try to ping it 
the address was that one and wait until it pings if it doesn't ping we need to reconfigure ip addressing on either pc or I, okay, it's fine it's fine so we go to web browser just click on web browser under desktop then paste the ip address and you hit enter so just wait until it loads normally it takes a lot of time i mean seconds okay all right so let's just wait it good so here it is so cisco 2500 series wireless LAN controller welcome creating admin account so let's start to, with creating our account just say gtech uh, gtech and our password is gtech one two three aha uh -huh. gtech one two three good and we start and now this is a quick setup system name let's just say this is a uh, gtech gtech wc okay and then you can see countries kenya uh the time is that one time zone baghdad i don't know why so management ip address you can remember is this same ip address that we just configured okay and subnet mask is 255.255.255 uh -huh, .0. Default gateway, don't forget, it was 20.1, okay? And we just click next. So when you reach here is where you start configuring um, uh, Wi-Fi, I mean SSIDs, Wi-Fi names, okay? So let's say the first Wi-Fi name is, uh, uh, let's say it's IT, okay? And security, let, let it remain that one. Then let's paraphrase. I'll just use GTEC one two three then gtech one two three and click next aha uh -huh. so here when you reach here just click next you don't need to uh, alter anything here just click next so you can see our settings username is gtech system name is uh, gtech wlc and uh, our management ip address is the same as this one Third mask is the same uh, management get IP gateway default gateway is the same then our Wi-Fi name will be IT and the password will be this one okay and everything remains the same and just click apply and give it some time before it loads you can see my packet is up is hanging so just click OK and it will be loading yeah so it's loading what you can now, you, what you can do now just close the web browser and come back to command prompt and try to ping again if it has loaded so you have to wait okay now it's okay now we go back again to uh web browser we go back again to web browser and uh, we type the same ip address and we hit enter and you receive this error when you see that uh, that that problem just change http to https the way i've done there and you click enter and wireless LAN controller login you can remember our, our username was gtech and password was gtech 123 and you just log in that's all and it's now loading good it's very very interesting okay so this is the interface of wireless LAN controller you can see it has how many principal ports one two three four and maybe the management port is on this side okay all right so what we do here what we do here now we just uh we, let's let's check let's check the status of wireless LAN controller that i mean the wireless uh, uh, access point that are there we just click on wlans and here you will see uh the number of uh sorry just click on wireless okay just click on wireless you see the number of access points that are there in our network you see how many access points we have fin ap it ap hrap and guest ap so if you just go here back here just a minute so if you just go back here and start try to hover and start and you read the status you will see that uh there's a port uh gigabit internet the ip address then there's something that is called cap up status status 
So it's a couple of status that maintains the relationship between the access points and the wireless LAN controller. Okay, so the wireless LAN controller and the access points uses the cup hop tunnel to communicate okay all right so you can see uh connected to this one connected to 102 168 20.10 then providing wlans as per now we only have one uh one wi-fi name which is it that we've created even if you can just check here you can see it's the same thing if you can check just check here you will see it's the same thing if you do if you also check here you will see it's the same thing so let's just go back to our computer management computer and do some wonders so after you verify that these are the wire work access point that you created one two three four now you come to wlan okay after you've come to wlan after you've come to wlan you now need to create more uh wi-fi okay wi-fi names so uh the first thing that to do just create another one just click on create new and go okay all right so just wait it normally loads very slowly so we just go to hr profile so just write hr and apply okay and wait it normally loads very slowly okay all right so okay now it's here the first thing you do here when you reach here just enable it status to be enabled okay then come to security under layer 2 just click on there and choose wpa2 plus p that one okay wpa plus wpa2 and when you reach here when after choosing that one click on wpa2 policy all right you've clicked on wpa2 policy it will automatically click on wpa2 encryption then come and click psk all right so this is where we put the password for hr wi-fi so let's just let's just use uh, uh hr uh, i just want to use gtech gtech one two three okay and apply just click here apply and wait until you see something like blinking just it normally takes it's slow very slow and also apply apply also okay and you see something blinking all right so just come back to wlan again just come back to wlan just come back to wlan here and you create another wi-fi name called finance remember we still have finance and guest so we just go there and create another one just click on go and um, you wait until you see this one now we want to create fin fin for finance fin okay and just click apply and you wait it uh, very slow it's very slow all right so the first thing you do enable it then come under security and that's where it's where you set the wi-fi password just click on wpa pa2 and come here and click wpa2 policy it will automatically click uh I mean it will automatically check the aes okay which is an encryption algorithm then come and click click psk so write your password there the password of wi-fi one two three i've been using gtech one two three gtech one two three apply i wait until you see something blinking it is very slow that's how it's normally be so just click again good so we just wait until uh it's stabilized then we click on wheelance again to create another the final wheel which is uh, for guest so uh what you can now do here is um just say guest guest and uh, also guest okay but the profile name you can even write guest wi-fi or anything you like what matters the uh, SSD? Just apply, then wait until it loads. Then we proceed with the configuration of uh, the Wi Fi password. Enable it first, come to security, and choose WPA plus PA2. Okay, P2. 
PSK and now let's input our password gtick123 apply and uh, also apply when it is uh, loaded yes also apply all right so the second step the second step come to advanced ap groups just after clicking wlan wlan i mean wlans you can see the number of created access i mean a uh, wi-fi network okay wireless networks we've created it hr finance and guest so the second step is to create what's called access point groups you just click on access point groups just click on access point groups under vlan click advanced then access point groups then the default group all the access points belong to the default groups by default so if you just click on vlans you will see all of them here click on access points you'll see all of them here so what we do here we just go back to our access point groups then create groups as per our liking okay so click here add group and say this is it group it okay it then it's it wi-fi users then i just copy this and i had Uh, the second thing uh, HR and we just say HR Wi-Fi users and you just said all right so after creating uh, access point groups so what you do you go to each group and uh, enable a specific Wi-Fi or and and and, and access point okay so let's start with ITs because it's the first one okay click on access groups uh, ap groups okay then under ap groups we are concerned with it first okay just click on it right okay as per now if you can just go here just a minute you can see if you can just go here you can see the number of providing winners have increased we have it hr finance and guest in every uh, access point you can see the number of provided access i mean ap have increased okay all right so let's just go here let's go under it ap group okay then what you do come to under wlans okay after after you've come under wlan just click hard we need to add we, we have to make this group to have a wi-fi name that's called it and access point that is called ITAP okay or so just click add group then we just choose IT and we add we wait until it loads good so if you just go under VLANs you will see we have IT as the SSID there then go to APs and click ITAP okay and add it add it to this group okay so we just wait good then apply good so what to do we go back to ip groups then we do for the rest okay so let's go to hr so uh huh normally loads very slow go to vlans add vlan and choose hr add wait until it loads then go to wlans you can see hr is has been added then go to aps and add hr ap you can see it ap has been added to which group it okay then just add it there so wait until loads then apply Then you go back under AP groups and do for finance and guest. So it's very, very interesting, guys. Wait until it loads, then go to APs and associate 
against a P to this group and R to that group. And that's all about wireless LAN controller configuration. So what you just have to do is just to go to a individual computer, I mean a wireless device and configure Wi-Fi, I mean configure password and Wi-Fi name and you to connect. So if I can just hover over these uh, access points, previously you could see that the, the number of providing WLANs uh, uh, bottom, you can see a, a couple of status, that one then providing WLANs, they were four. But now because this is uh, ITAP, it, it is IT, only it provides which Wi-Fi name, AT. So this one should provide HR, you see it's HR. This one should provide finance, you see it's FIN. And finally, this should provide guest, as you can see, guest. So if I can just go here, and then I go to, I go to, I mean smartphones, then I go to wireless zero, and uh, SSD is IT. And the password was, uh, password was uh, GTEC123. I just close. Then I go here also, and do the same, very, very fast, save time. If I can just go here and check, uh huh. All right, so these are not connecting, but they should connect because you've successfully configured a uh, uh, wireless LAN controller, and all of these access points are managed from this point. So, AP groups, IP groups, then default group. Let me check default groups. Wheelands, all they are all there. Okay. All right. Okay. So let me try to reload if this will connect. But uh, I strongly believe that this packet is a problem because if this one can connect, why not this one? Because we've done exactly the same thing for all of them. So I'll try to reload the packet tracer. I just try to save and reload the packet trees, okay? And uh, when we meet, when I do that, I trust this will connect. So close and save. So after reloading, I can only see now it's finance department that is now connecting. IT department is no longer connecting. <laughs> so interesting. So let's just give it some time. Uh, I I strongly believe that these are packet is a issue. So let's just give it some time or we just try to close the packet tracer file and load again. This is a packet tracer issue. So guys, even after uh, reloading the file again, after closing the entire file and opening again, you can see now it's the guest, uh, the guest network that's now connecting. So this is the bug in packet tracer. So maybe if you're using the lower the lowest version maybe 7 point something i believe it will work or 8.1 it will be work but this latest version i can see it has a lot of bugs i have encountered a lot of problems with this kind of packet tracer but everything is working perfectly fine if you do it if you find a packet tracer file that is working for wlc configuration then everything is going to work the way you've done it so thank you so much guys and I believe this video has really helped me now to configure a wireless LAN controller. Kindly follow this video, keenly, and take your time. It will really help you. So I'll mark that section as done. So I'll mark the wireless LAN controller section as done. So when we meet next, let's start voice over IP configuration. So bye guys, thank you so much. Please subscribe to this channel. Like this video, share with friends, and let's see you again uh, during voice of IP phones configuration. Bye, guys.